Hi, this is Ashan. Welcome to Rathod's IS classes. Today in this lecture, we are going to see the current affairs of 10th August 2022. So let's get started with our discussion and let us try to see today's first article. It is our editorial. So this topic which is talking about personal data protection bill. So why it is in news? So recently there is a withdrawal of this personal data protection bill happened. So because of this, we need to know what is this personal data protection bill and why what is the reasons behind the withdrawal so this topic is important from our polity point of view which comes under our gs paper too and this topic is exclusively important from your means and students who are going to write this year means you have to focus on this topic for sure and now let us try to see what is this topic talking about so actually recently our government of india withdrawn this personal data protection bill from parliament and why because your government of india considers it is a comprehensive legal framework it is focusing on regulating of online space and it is focusing on boosting of innovation in the country through the new bill okay so because of this year because of some important reasons your government of india withdrawed this personal data protection bill so what is this personal data protection bill actually so this personal data protection bill of 2019 actually this law or this bill which introduced in the lok sabha by minister of electronics and information technology that is in short mighty okay so mighty introduced this personal data protection bill of 2019 in lok sabha okay and it is also commonly called as privacy bill and this bill which intended to protect individual rights and they are focusing on regulating the collection and as less well movement and processing of data that is personal or which can identify the individual okay so what is this data protection bill it is focusing on the privacy of uh, people because nowadays here we uh, in, we in, we are using number of apps okay they are collecting the data so because of this yes we have some cause of concern of loss of privacy so because of this yes we need this privacy bill or personal data protection bill so we need to protect our personal data right and if you see here so here why this bill had been withdrawn so what might be the reasons so the reasons here is the first one is it has too many amendments so recently one joint committee of parliament analyzed this personal data protection bill of 2019 in detail and it said that there were about 81 amendments they were proposed in this bill and even they came up with 12 recommendations were made towards a comprehensive legal framework of digital ecosystem yes there are about 81 amendments and 12 recommendations are mainly present in this okay so because of this okay because of this and what and the report highlights okay report highlights of this joint committee of parliament and comprehensive legal framework is being worked upon and they mainly propose to withdraw this bill okay because it is having too many amendments and as well as it came with dual recommendations and next one here is compliance in intensive okay so compliance means we need to follow that okay so th this bill also seen as a being too compliance intensive by the startups of the country and this revamped bill will be much easier to comply with easy especially for the startups so if we're talking about the startups so especially here this bill should be revamped okay whenever we are coming up with the changes of this bill so that will be helpful for easy compliance for this a new startups as well and this one here is there is also issue with the data localization so what is the meaning of data localization for example so and so company is there it is getting data from so and so country this is country one actually this parent company okay which is present in one more country that is in the country two so whatever the uh, data which generated by this company in this country one will be stored in the country two so because of this if there is any breach is happening so this country one loss will not be applicable on that company so here especially here this country one says that whatever the data that you are collecting in in so and so country okay in my country you have to store that data in our country itself okay so this is a data localization so this bill which is also having some issues with this data localization yeah because of this uh, data localization your technological companies they questioned 
that whether this proposed bill is calling for this data localization or not. So under this data localization, so it will be like mandatory for the companies to store the data which is uh, which is mainly uh, which is mainly collecting that data in that so and so country. Okay, so it is also one of the cause of concern for this technological companies. And next one is push back from the stakeholders. So the bill had faced major push back from the range of stakeholders including big technological companies for example facebook google private google and as well as civil society activists etc regarding this privacy as you know that right to privacy is a fundamental right which is declared by supreme court in case put us form a judgment of 2017 so from that onwards yes this bill is very much important especially to ensure the privacy of the people and this one is there is also delay that is seen in the implementation so delays in the bill had been criticized by several stakeholders pointing out that it was a matter of grave concern that india did not have a basic framework to protect the privacy okay to protect the people privacy actually there is no framework so because of this we need this uh, implementation okay so now let us try to talk about the next topic so this next topic it is about rankings okay so this topic it is about a national institutional ranking framework so why it is in new cs you have to know about this topic uh, especially you recently in july so here we got this uh, rankings okay that is national institutional ranking framework of 2022 so you have to know about some key highlights of this report so this will be very important and now let us try to see why it is in news so actually recently in july so we came up with this national institutional ranking framework 2022 and this is the uh, this is this uh, i think you can see one infographic right so this infographic that i collected from our previous hindu newspaper kartik cuts itself so the first rank which mainly occupied by this uh, indian institute of technology madras and second one here is iisc bangalore next one is iit bombay next one is iit delhi next one is iit kanpur and next one is iit karagpur next one is rukri and as well as guwahati and ninth place occupied by this all india institute of medical sciences that is aims in delhi next one is jawaharlal nehru university delhi so these are the top 10 So now let us try to see this in detail. So actually, recently here, Ministry of Education released seventh edition of this national institutional ranking framework. Actually, it will be giving ranking for the higher institutions. You have to remember this. And if you are talking about some facts regarding this national institutional ranking framework, actually it was approved by Ministry of Education. So it is mainly approved by this Ministry of Education. It is mainly comes under this S twelve Ministry of human resource development in september 2015 so it is the first ever effort which mainly made by the government to rank higher education institutions okay so it is a first ever effort which is made by the government so here we are focusing on ranking of higher education institutions in the country okay so this is the one important thing that you have to focus and if you are talking about based on five parameters you are coming up with ranking so those five parameters includes the first one is teaching learning and resources that is tlr second one is research and professional practice and third one is graduation outcomes and fourth one here is outcomes and inclusivity and fifth one is peer perceptions so these are five important parameters based on that we are going to get rankings so we are also having 11 categories okay of colleges for example universities engineering colleges and medical colleges management colleges pharmacy law architecture dental and assess research so if we talking about highlights of for this year rankings overall iit madras and iisc bangalore iit bombay so they are the top 3 higher education institutions in the country and if you are talking about universities that is iisc bangalore which tops the category and colleges like uh, miranda college which retains the first position among the colleges Uh, for the last six years onwards, you can research institutes like IIT Bangalore, and so on. Here is Engineering College, for example, IIT Madras. Okay, and management includes IIM, that is uh, Indian Institute of Management, Ahmedabad, was ranked one of the following. Okay, followed by IIM Bangalore. Next one here is Medical. So all India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi, which occupies the top slot in the medical for the fifth consecutive years. And if you are talking about pharmacy. Here we have this Jamia Ham that at which tops this pharmacy subject. Okay, and next one here is architecture. In architecture we have IIT Rukri, 
and law we have national school of uh, india university which retains the first position and this one is dental dental is savita institute of medical and technical sciences chennai which got the first rank so these are the details of this topic and now let's try to see next topic it is regarding new privacy features on whatsapp so actually everyone will be using this whatsapp right so in everyone mobile we have this whatsapp so we use this whatsapp especially to stay connected with our friends and to stay connected with our family members when you are staying in uh, pg hostels etc and you will be sharing your live updates like right? true status so here this article is talking about privacy so this topic is important from your polity point of view which comes under your gs paper too so as you know that right to privacy is a fundamental right which declared by supreme court in case putus bomi judgment of 2017 So here, why? What are the changes that all came up by this WhatsApp? So recently, we know that it came with end-to-end -end encryption, so that we can't go for go for revealing of the messages, right? So they are very much secret. So here, WhatsApp is also announced that it is coming up with new privacy features. Okay. Uh, so here, two are the important things we need to focus here. What are the new privacy features? First one is to leave the groups, to leave the groups, and regarding the screenshots. So these are the two important changes that have come up by this WhatsApp recently. So if you see the details here, so if you want to leave the group, especially in the in our preparation, so we will be coming up across the number of uh, groups, right? In chat groups and friends groups and uh, hostel groups, etc. So with the leave group silent, if you want to leave the group, okay, silently. So we are having this leave group silently feature, and WhatsApp users they will able to exit the group privately without having to notify to everyone. just it will notify the only the admin member that's it and next one here is it will also block taking screenshots for view one messages okay so for this view one view one messages also there will be no option of taking screenshots so these are the two important steps that are going to take it by the whatsapp especially to ensure privacy and now let us try to see next topic is regarding bangladesh river so here this article is important from our international relations which comes under your gs paper 2 and now let us try to see this topic in a very great detail so if you see context it mainly says that india and bangladesh they are likely to ink okay so we are going to come with an agreement with at least at least one major river agreement uh, later this month so why this month so this month there is a visit of uh, prime minister that is sheikh hasina to Bang uh, india so because of this we are going to have a meet so in this meet we are expecting to sign an agreement regarding at least one major river agreement so if you see the details it mainly says that the planning for the agreement is being tightly guarded by the officials on both sides as water sharing between the two countries is considered as a sensitive subject given the fact that it often takes political meet political meaning so as you all know this is the bangladesh for example so this is india so here we are having number of rivers that will be flowing into bangladesh and we are sharing rivers right so river sharing it is one of the sensitive topic between india and bangladesh relations so in this context you need to know about this tista river water sharing so regarding this tista river water so we do not have a proper agreement and bangladesh will always will always pushes to come up with this tista river agreement but india will not accepting for that especially west bengal chief minister So, if you are talking about further more details, it mainly says that apart from major agreements under discussion, sharing of data of river waters and better flood control planning, they are expected to feature in the upcoming meeting of Joint River Commission. Okay, that will be the last week of uh, August ahead of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's India visit on September sixth and seventh. So, on the September sixth and seventh, here. Prime Minister of Bangladesh, that is Sheikh Hasina, she is going to have India visit. So actually, we are going to have this Joint River Commission meet. So in that commission meet, we are going to share the data of river waters, and even we are going for the better flood management as well. So an agreement on this Kushinia uh, that flows from Assam to Bangladesh is a part of one such agreement that may get done during this uh, Joint River Commission meeting. So actually, you have to know about this Tista River, right? So actually, this Tista River, it is the, for example, it is a river Bangladesh, uh, river uh, 
okay it is a bangladesh and this is this is river brahmaputra and here this tista, tista river that will be coming and joining in this way okay actually this tista river which is a tributary okay which is a tributary of this brahmaputra and it is also known as jamuna in bangladesh so uh, flowing through india and bangladesh it originates in the himalayas near chuntang which flows into south and it flows through west bengal and before entering into this bangladesh it is mainly flowing in this west bengal and actually they came up with this tista barrage dam which helps to provide water for irrigation for the plains between this upper padma and as well as jamuna rivers okay so here tista water issue or tista river agreement it is one of the long pending agreement between india and bangladesh so west bengal is not accepting for that okay and if you see the map of this river tista actually this blue color river which is our brahmaputra and this yellow color river which is this river tista and actually i want to make a small announcement we in rathods is we came up with this prelims test series 2023 and here we are providing 30 test and we are also focusing on even c sat as well so this test are very important to analyze the how you are preparing and whether you are in a right direction or not so if there is any changes okay so in which areas you need to focus so that thing you can analyze if you're joining this test series and the cost of this test series is just three thousand rupees and the validity will be one year so try to join this uh, course so that will be very beneficial and if you have any queries regarding this test series you can call me on this number eight zero seven four seven six double five one three okay and apart from this we also came up with this main science writing practice course of one year and this registrations are going to end on this august 10th so if you want to join so please try to join this soon because we are providing a detailed schedule okay weekly targets daily one question on sunday you will be having essay or case study there will be evaluation of your answer one-to-one -one mentorship along with that we are also having live classes on every sunday at seven o'clock we okay, try to join this uh, course it will be exclusively beneficial if you have any doubt you can call me on this number and now let us try to see some more important articles which appeared in the other important newspapers that is says prime minister modi tweets mahatma gandhi's photo to mark quit india movement anniversary so this article is also very important from our gs paper one under history point of view and especially it is important from your modern history so this is one important moment that is quit india moment and you can get prelims and as well as mains questions from this topic for sure and now let us try to see why it is in news so if you're talking about why it is in news so on this august 9th 1942 so the biggest mass movement of indian freedom struggle that is this qim quit india movement it was launched so this year marks 88th year of this quit india movement this quit india movement is also called as bharat chodo andolan okay it is also called as bharat chodo andolan so on this august 9th 1942 so the biggest mass movement of uh, indian freedom struggle that is quit india movement was launched so this year it is 80th anniversary so because of this this is news and if you're talking about what are the causes for this quit india movement so first one is involvement of india in this world war ii without prior consultation with the leaders so without the consultation of leaders so here when we are involving in the world war ii that led to this quit india movement and failure of this Cripps mission so britishers they sent this stanford stanford Cripps to india and they want to focus on this again the cooperation of india so but it had been failed because of this Cripps mission which offered india not complete freedom okay but they are saying that they will provide this dominion status so that led to this failure of the scripts mission and this one here is there is also shortage of essential commodities so there is also a wide spread of discontent that is seen because of shortage of essential uh, commodities and even increasing of price of salt rice etc okay so because of this that also led to this quitinia moment and prevalence of anti-british sentiment so the sentiments they were widely and the british and the masses they were demanding for the complete independence from this british government so these are some important causes for this quitinia moment so if you're talking about what are the success of, of this quitinia moment so first one is that this quit india movement led to women empowerment and we can also see there was active participation of women in the country okay women of the country in this quit india movement for example you can talk about aruna asif ali you can talk about usha mehta 
so here arna asif ali uh, she hoisted national flag on this gowalia tank uh, maidan and even here usha mehta on other hand she also helped to set up underground radio station and that led to spread of awareness okay about the movement to the people and that also led to the rise of future leaders okay for example this movement also gave some future prominent leaders like biku patnayak arna asif ali marana uh, manohar lohia sucheta kripalni jp narayan etc here okay and they started doing some underground activities and that also led to increasing or rise of this nationalism so a greater sense of unity and brotherhood which emerged during this uh, quit india movement and if you are talking about why this quit india movement had failed so what are the reasons behind this failure so because britishers they got extensive support from this princely states and british indian army and even indian civil services viceroy council etc so because of this yeah, that led to failure of this movement and if you are talking about one more important reasons regarding this uh, quit, quit india movement here is hindu mahasabha rashtriya swayam sevak sang muslim league also opposed this quit india movement so now i want to give you one main question so question here is so quit india movement was a revolution in itself in the long process of india's national movement so comment on the nature of quit india movement so try to write answer for this question within within 150 words and now let us try to see next topic it is regarding launch a national tribal health mission so this article which is talking about this national tribal health mission so this topic is important from our society because in our society we need to talk about vulnerable sections right so your tribal people they comes under this vulnerable sections so this topic is important from our gs paper to from our society point of view so we are talking about what are the issues they are faced by these tribals so recently there is one report released by this lancet and the title of that report is indigenous and tribal peoples health 2016 so the year india it is a second highest infant mortality rate for the tribal people so first is pakistan so in pakistan there is a highest mortality rate infant mortality rate okay in the tribals and second is uh, india itself and why what are the reasons for this infant mortality rate because of prevalence of malnutrition so malnutrition is 50% higher in the tribal children and 40% compared to that of others okay this is the one important thing and this one here is nearly 5 and 1/2 crores of lives the outside the scheduled areas they are scattered in marginalized minorities so what happened out of the tribals itself so 1/5 or okay we can say nearly 5 and 1/2 crore they are living outside the scheduled areas and they are marginalized people and even they do not have any power so even not only this there is also prevalence of different diseases for example malaria and tuberculosis so malaria it is a mosquito borne disease right so tuberculosis and malaria they are the diseases they are like 3 to 11 times more when we are comparing with the common man so they are higher in this tribal people and we can see there is also poor infrastructure there is healthcare infrastructure in these areas especially 27 to 40 percentage of deficit that is seen in this areas especially there will be no primary healthcare centers as well and 33 to 84 percentage of deficit that is seen in the medical doctors so in this tribal areas we do not see any medical doctors as well and we can also see there is a low participation okay so low participation of the people so your participation of the tribal people especially the local level national level and as well as in the state level regarding this designing planning and delivering of health care so there is no involvement of tribals and this one here is financial outlay so we also came with this tribal sub plan tsp okay so but here there is also under implementation of this tribal sub plan as well so these are some important reasons and what might be the possible solution for the upliftment of this tribal people so especially as yes, we can launch this national tribal health action plan and this action plan that will bring the status of health and even they will come up with some primary health care centers increasing of doctor, doctor availability here and we can also address 10 priority health problems okay so those 10 priority health problems include for example health care gap for example human resource gap for example government problems etc and this one here is we can go for allocation of proper resources okay for the setting up of this and national health policy and as well as the pre hcs and as well as to increase availability of doctors and we can also go for mission mode implementation so in this mission mode implementation your health minister 
and about 10 states with a sizable tribal population, they should take care, take this initiative. So we can come up with implementation of these proper programs to come up by the state government as well as central government. So I want to give you one more question. So tribal groups are the different are at different stages of social, economic, and educational development. Hence, one size fits all approach will not work. Because in some areas we can see STs are coming forward, but in some areas they are marginalized. Okay, so because of this, when you are coming in with this one size fit model, it will be not work at all. So we need to evaluate the various policies which are aimed at the development of tribal communities in India. So try to write the answer and answer should be not more than 250 words. And next topic it is regarding one common weed. So this common weed can offer drought resistant crops. So this article is important from your GS paper 3 under environment and ecology. So now let us try to see this topic in detail. So if you see context it mainly says that Scientists, they integrated two metabolic pathways to produce a novel type of photosynthesis and this photosynthesis which mainly enables the weed to withstand the drought while remaining highly productive. Okay, so actually here yes, scientists, they came with studying of this metabolic pathways. Okay, for example, you can talk about C4 cycle, you can talk about a C3 cycle. Okay, so there are a number of cycles that we can see in the development of plants. Okay, whenever they are going for aerobic respiration, whenever they are going for anaerobic respiration. So, there are a number of cycles or metabolic pathways that we can see. So, if you are from biology background, so in place two, you might have studied about this uh, metabolic pathways. So, here science integrated two metabolic pathways to produce a noble type of or novel type of this photosynthesis. And this helps this weed to withstand even drought. Okay, whenever we are having any changes, yes, we need some changes because in future we are going to expect droughts and there is no proper water availability. So, water scarcity will be there. So, we need to go for some researches and we need to develop the plants which can withstand even the droughts. So, if you are talking about details, so it is a common weed, okay, succulent that is Portulaca aurelica, okay, aurelia. So, it is commonly known as this uh, prusain. And it offers some important clues about the creating this drought resist drought tolerant crops in a world's basest by the climate change. So actually, this spruce lane it is a one of the evolution adaptations that help it to both highly productive and as well as drought tolerant and unlikely combination of a plant for a plant. So we're talking about uses of this. So Portuluca aurea, which had been used as a folk medicine in the many countries, acting as a fabric fuse and as well as antiseptic and as well as vermifuge. So I hope you had uh, you had seen this type of plant. You can see different types of colors of flowers. You can see pink, yellow, etc. Okay, so that mainly seen in the in your gardens. I think so. So this is about this topic, and these are some important articles which appear in our today's current affairs. So now let us try to see the prelims practice questions. So first question is regarding fifth schedule of Indian constitution. So if a particular area is brought under this fifth schedule of Indian constitution, which of the following statements best reflects its consequence of it? So this is a UPSC 2022 question. So first one is this would prevent the transfer of land of tribal people to non-tribal people. So it would create the local self-governing in that body and it would also convert that area into a union territory and the state having such areas would be declared as a special category state. So this is not the thing. So this is not the thing. So it will help especially for the preventing of this transfer of land of uh, this tribal people to this non-tribal people. And next one here is which of the following factors constitute the best safeguard of liberty in the liberal democracy? So first one is uh, a committed judiciary, second one is centralized powers and third one here is written government and fourth one is separation of powers. So here we are talking about the separation of powers, option D is correct answer. So these are the today's prelims factors questions. And now let us try to see today's topic of the day. So topic of the day is food chain. So what is a food chain? So actually you know that so one animal, one organism will be dependent on the another organism for its food needs. So actually actually there is one song I like the most that is in the movie of Pushpa. There is one song regarding tiger and it says that so if one animal is getting hungry so that will lead to the death of another animal. Okay so that, that song which is very much we can link that song with this food chain exactly. 
So if you're talking about food chain, we will be having different types of food chain. For example, grazing food chain, for example, detritus food chain. So food chain is nothing but yes, one organism will be dependent on another organisms for their needs, for their food requirements. So that chain is called as food chain. For example, first we have producers. Okay, producers, they will use the sunlight and they will take the water and they will use the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and they will start producing their food. Okay, so these produce are, for example, plants, herbivores. And what happen primary consumers like deers, goats, so they will consume these plants. And here these primary consumers will be consumed by secondary consumers and, and later on tertiary consumers. So because of this, we can say these tertiary consumers are for example, you can talk about tiger, lion. So because of this, we came up with the protection of this project, uh, tiger under this project, tiger to maintain our eco ecosystem, right? So if you're talking about this grazing food system, it starts with the producer that is herbivores. And if you're talking about this detritus food, uh, food chain here, so whenever the leaves had become dried on the plant, so they will be fallen off. So that will become the dead leaves. And they, these dead leaves, they will be like decomposing. So whenever the food chain starts with this decomposing material, that is called as detritus food chain. So here you have to know about pyramids. Pyramids of number, okay? So in, in which... Uh, in which a food chain so we can see inverted pyramids of number let me know in the comment box so this is the question for the Dave students so please try to uh, give me the answer for this question in the comment box and now let us try to see the vocabulary part so first one here is enactment enactment means the process of passing legislation enactment means nothing but it is a process of passing legislation and this one is elaboration elaboration means the process of developing or presenting a theory policy or system so even in your upsc questions you can see the keyword that is elaborate and this one is affirm affirm means we need to offer some emotional support or encouragement so this is the vocabulary for today so these are some important articles and these are some important uh, things that we discussed in our hindu analysis today and now let us try to see the today's hindu newspaper pdf so before seeing that hindu newspaper pdf i want to make a small announcement we in rathod size we came up with this foundational course for 2023 and 2024 so here in this foundational course we are providing validity with the two years and we are providing more than 600 hours of video lectures and this course is very useful because we are dealing each and every topic from the basics and conceptual clarity will be provided here so this conceptual clarity is very important to clear your prelims and as well as means okay so without conceptual clarity you are not going to clear your prelims and means for sure so try to join this course so this will be absolutely beneficial the cost here is just 49,000 with a validity of two years so if you buy this course you will be also getting bonus that is subterrains test series of one year and even mains answering course of one year so you are going to get them for free okay so why are you late then so you can call me on this number 8074765513 and try to join this course it will be exclusively beneficial okay so now let us try to see the today's hindu newspaper pdf is finally i thought that whether today also here hindu will be going to uh, give this pdf or not so it was like a big dilemma in me whenever i'm going to sleep uh, yesterday night so finally when i opened this hindu pdf so it had been opened and i was very happy that yes today i'm going to show the pdf for my students okay so now let us try to see some important topics so here you can see one infographic so this infographic it is regarding kings and queens actually if you are preparing for some other public service examination so this topic will become important and for upsc you will you may not expect this uh, type of questions here in this upsc prelims so if you are from maharashtra you have to know about what is happening in the politics of maharashtra especially here maharashtra cabinet expanded so regarding this yes you need to know some details if you are from maharashtra so it will become an interview question also and if you move forward here, you can see customs department to get passenger data. So here airlines have, will have to mandatorily provide the details of all international passengers to the custom department. Okay, that will helpful for preventing the offenses. And even that will helpful for the prosecuting offenders under the Customs Act of 1962. So yes, in India, we have this Customs Act of 1962. So under this, yes, if you want to punish the offenders, yes, we can punish the offenders. So if you want to punish the offenders, yes, we need to, to get data. So that, get, uh, that data we are going to get from this airlines. So this is one important thing. And here you have to know about what is the functions of this customs department. 
So every airline will have to transfer this passenger name record information from their reservation system uh, to the database of this custom department for every international flight. Okay. So because of this, this is the news. So why? Uh, because yes, there is increasing of crimes that are mainly seen. So because of this, this is one of the important steps that is going to empower this custom department. And next topic, it is about new privacy features on the WhatsApp. So already I discussed this topic. And if you move forward in the city page, there is one article that is city's first bamboo theme park to come up in this Yamuna floodplain. So you have to see some facts regarding this river Yamuna. So which are the which are the tributaries of this Yamuna and where this Yamuna had been originated, etc. And you have to know about what is the significance of this city's first bamboo theme park. So what are the uses of this bamboo? Okay. So this will be important, and this is your homework. And if you move forward here, here you can see the, here Tazias being taken out during the annual Muharram processions, and this Jam Masjid in the Valid city of this Delhi. So it is talking about this Muharram festival. Okay, so you have to know about some facts regarding this Muharram. And if you move forward in the states, which is page number four, there is nothing much important. And here you can see there is one article uh, or images that is world's indigenous peoples, uh, that is world's tribal day. So because of this, this is the news. And here you have to know about why we are celebrating this world's tribal day, and what is the importance of this tribal in our society. So what are the services they are provided to society? So that you have to know. And if you go through this page number five here, so it is talking about warning issued as Godavari level rises. So there is increasing of the water level in this river Godavari. So it is one cause of concern. And you have to know where this uh, Godavari had been originated. And you have to know about some important dams that are pres present or built on this river Godavari. And you have to know about even some right bank and left bank tributaries of river Godavari. And if you move forward, here you can see one more image regarding this uh, uh, World's Tribal Day. So here children in the traditional attire taking part in this International Day of World's Indigenous People Celebrations which organized by Tribal Welfare Department in Vijayawada. So here you have to know about this World's Tribal Day as I said earlier. And if you move on to this editorial page, there is one article regarding this failure of this uh, SSLV. So recently here is to launch this SSLV but it had been failed. Okay, so this article is talking about this failure of this SSLV. And there is one article regarding this personal data protection bill. I discussed this topic. And there is one more article that is regarding here uh, fair trail goes beyond the courts to the police and media. So why it is in news? Because recently here Chief Justice of India, he mainly said that uh, lack of media accountability in the media's coverage of legal issues. So because of this, this is in news and you can go through this article once. And if you go on to this open page, page number 7, so here you can see one article regarding this national institutional ranking frameworks. I discussed this topic. And if you move forward, here you can see one data point that is regarding cyber criminals go squat free. So over 1000 cases of this cyber crimes committed against children that were sent for the trial. And between this 2017 to 2020, only six have resulted in the conviction that is 98 percentage and there are still pending in the various courts as well. So only 27 percentage of such cases they were charge sheeted. Okay, so here we can see what are the problems. The problems here is we have to focus on the state wise data. In the state wise data we can see in the Maharashtra and Karnataka and as well as UP so there is high number of cases and there is a slow wheels of justice which is also seen here that is also leading to increasing of uh, increasing of uh, cyber warfare and next one here is there is a poor charge sheet rate and there is a poor conviction rate okay and if you move forward to this text and context here you can see how this maiden flight of istros sslv went away went uh, went every that means how it went wrong so sslv mission which mainly carrying two satellites there is an observation satellite and as 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 so here what happened the mission which uh, which mainly failed to place the satellites in the required orbits okay so here this eos2 offered an advanced optical remote sensing operations and even if you're talking about this azadi sat which is a one hand play uh, play loads integrated by the students so here the mal malfunctioning of the sensor resulted in uh, sensors resulted in placing the satellites 
in the elliptical orbits rather than circular orbits. So here the satellites that orbit the Earth as mostly uh, are mostly placed in the costier cloth. And one reason here it is that satellite is used for imaging the Earth. Okay, it asserts. Okay, it is as it is easier if it has a fixed distance from the earth so actually what happened the malfunction of the sensor which mainly led to this incident so because of this malfunction of the sensor so that mainly not recognize this elliptical orbit rather than the uh, rather than the circular orbit here satellites that orbit the earth are mostly placed in the circular orbits okay so one important reason behind this uh, failure is Okay, so one important reason behind the failure here is satellite is used for imaging the imaging the earth and it is easier. It has a it has a fixed distance from the earth. So if we're talking about next topic, it is regarding about adoptions. Okay, adoptions on guardianship and adoption mine adoption of minors. So here recently why it's in use because the parliamentary standing committee which get up with a, with a report on August 8, 2022 regarding this adoption that is review of guardianship and adoption laws and in this report the committee has said that there is an urgent need to amend this HNGA so there is an immediate need to amend okay need, immediate need to amend this HMGA and apart from that we need to also go for equal treatment of both uh, both mother and as well as father as legal guardians and next one here is supreme court landmark judgment in this Gita Gita Hariharan versus RBI in 1999 which also challenges H and G A for uh, violating the guarantee of uh, this right to uh, right to uh, right to equality of sexes under this article 14 of our Indian constitution right what is this HMG that is Hindu Minority and Guardianship Act okay Hindu Minority and Guardianship Act and adoption regulations adoption regulations 2017 it is a silent it is also silent on the adoption by this LGBTQ okay LGBTQ people and as well as uh, to and to neither bans on this uh, adopting of this child so here adoption rules of 2017 it is also silent on adoption of the adoption which is mainly going to be done by this LGBTQ community okay so because of this, this is the news and if you move forward you can see some articles important that is Bangladesh river water deal I discussed this topic and if you move forward here you can see India terms Gaza violation as grave concern in this United Nations meet so calling for immediate resumption of the talks between this Israel and Palestine, uh, Palestine governments during the emergency session on violence in this Gaza okay this United Nations Security Council so now India which mainly thanked this uh, Egyptian government in particular regarding helping okay helping the broker cease uh, ceasefire uh, ceasefire effect to up, up uh, midnight on the tuesday so if you are talking about some more important articles if you move forward there is no article which is important from this page number 11 and in page number 12 well, you can see one article that is lok sabha assembly polls will be held in 2024 says this eps okay so you have to remember that and once we are going to get articles yes we are going to have discussion and in this world space there is nothing much important and this business page also there is nothing much important so these are some important articles that appear in our today's hindu newspaper so by this i'm concluding if you really like this video so please click the like button and you can also share this video for your friends with your friends and if you want the pdf of this class you can join the telegram channel link is given in the description box and try to subscribe to this Rathor Sai's Academy channel and don't forget to like, share and comment my videos. Thank you so much and have a good day.